Hi, Reba. What you guys doing, huh? What you doing, sweetheart? Rusty. It's unseasonably warm out here at Contentment. Uh, it's a big heat dome covering the southwest U.S. And we're part of that. Um, it's the hottest I have seen it here yet at Contentment. Uh, it is it's not July yet. And uh, we've had temperatures up to 95 yesterday. So normally average high temperature about 85. So <clears throat> chickens are enjoying a little uh, chickens are enjoying a little uh, watermelon rind there. They really like that stuff, man. They attack it. So the rope that's hanging there, I I hung a uh, half a head of cabbage on that. It's the first time they'd seen it. They didn't know what to think of it. But uh, as you can see, they devoured it. It's gone. So we'll get them another one here pretty soon. But chickens are doing fine. You all remember Dumpy. I got the logs uh, from last season's uh, harvest. Uh, log harvest in the mountains removed. Had to replace a starter on Dumpy. Um, just went out. Old vehicle sits a, for a long time and stuff like that it it happens so starter wasn't too expensive but uh yeah so debating on whether to uh sell dumpy off at the there's an amish auction in the area coming up here first part of july debating on whether or not to sell it uh got so much work into it i, I don't want to I, I feel very confident we could get you know out of it what we've got in it no problem uh, and probably then some, but uh, um, I don't know. I just uh, mixed feelings about it because it is such it is a good resource, but it's very expensive to operate with gas prices right now. So I just don't know. I don't know what to do. Um, I wouldn't mind a little opinion on that. Anyway, tiller is not working. Uh, I. We got this tiller for a song, I think, when we bought Rusty, and I replaced the carburetor on it. And when I did, it ran fine, so I just said, okay, good to go for next for when we're ready to plant a garden. Well, I took it out to plant the garden, and the minute I stuck it into the soil to start tilling, it was running normally, but the minute I stuck it in the soil to start tilling, it died. It just can't take the, uh, can't take the, the, the uh, you know, the activity, the engine can. I'm like, why? Um, <clears throat> because we're in soft sand here, you know, it's not like it's So anyway, I got to messing with it. It either has a blown head gasket or a hole in the piston or uh, Bad rings or maybe all three who knows but uh, I've got a rebuild kit coming to uh, fix that <laughs> we can get this five horsepower Briggs and Stratton with dual shafts rebuilt put back on and running again that sit there for a few minutes that degreaser do its thing and I'll come back and blast most of this off I hope hmm <clears throat> now I've got this clean off I see that blue RTV silicone on there which tells me this has been apart before okay well they used the wrong kind of RTV to put it back but it should have been black kind for gaskets Okay, cleaned off, blasted off well enough to handle anyway. Let's get this over on the bench.
apart. This is not fun. This um, piston would not come out because the it's so worn down inside here that the I could not get the uh, rings to clear this lip that was created in here over by wear. So it's pretty ugly. There's quite a bit of scoring in there. I don't know if you can see it. Scoring in there on the. I notice also the crankshaft is uh, kind of scored up. I don't know if you can see that there. I can run my finger across it and I can feel the ridges. But yeah, so I have a decision to make. You know, it's an old motor and I, I just don't know how much I want to put into it. <laughs> um, whether I just chuck it and get another one or you know something like that. It's really hard to find a dual shaft motor though uh, these days. Uh, dual shaft because it runs a tiller. So you've got one that uh, one shaft that runs forward, the main shaft, crankshaft, and then you have the camshaft that runs reverse. And uh, really, I mean, it's impossible to find these anymore. They don't make them. Nobody makes them. So you know, it's a it's a question of what I want to do here. But I'm looking at the oil. Oil was a telltale sign. I got a lot of a lot of problems in there. A lot of wear. So a lot of metal floating in that oil. The uh, valve seats look okay, and probably just need to be lapped and you know a new valve, put in, a new intake valve put in. I don't know. I'm going to chuck this into the uh, parts cleaner, let all these parts sit overnight, and take a look at them tomorrow, and then I'll decide whether I'm going to put it back together. <clears throat> but we got it apart today. Tomorrow, hopefully, I'll just make a decision and maybe put it back together and see what I get. We'll see. Okay, well, I made a mess here indoors, but when you're rebuilding an engine, you got to do it indoors because it's got to stay, you got to find a clean place to do it. And I can't do it outside in that wind and blowing sand and stuff. So, uh, didn't do anything fancy, just pulled the thing apart, as you saw, replaced the piston, rings, piston rod, and uh, a valve, the intake valve lapped the valves, uh, honed the cylinder, sanded the journal on the crankshaft, and uh, put it back together. Frankly, I don't hold out much hope for this engine. It's, it's in pretty rough shape. The cylinder walls are gone. Let's, uh, it, it's really tight. It doesn't turn very well, and I think that's because of piston, you know, slop in there. But uh, anyway, let's put it back on the tiller and try to turn over and see what it does. You can see this white smoke coming out of the exhaust. That means that the rings have not seated yet. So while you're breaking this in, you want to let it go for a while. Let it do this until some of that smoke disappears. It could take anywhere from 15 minutes to five hours to break in. I'm just going to let it sit here and run like this. I'll run at a higher and lower RPM until I get it where I want it. But, you know, honestly, <laughs> as bad a shape as that cylinder is in, it may never stop smoking. I don't know. kill it let it rest for a little bit i need to hook up the throttle cable and uh, the pulleys and let's see if we can get it to till anything
That's what it was doing before? Yep. I thought it was going well. Yeah, it does great until you try to, you know, put a load on the engine. Then it <laughs> I think I know what's wrong. What? I forgot to hook up the governor. Thank <laughs> you.